We heard your calls for it, and now Unsolved is back and bigger than before. Unsolved is a series, of course, where Tonya Sides, Leanne Stuck, digs into cold cases and unsolved crimes here in western New York. Plus, she's taking it to a new platform. We're going to get to that in a minute, but first, Leanne joins us now with details of a 1980 cold case. Yes, I'm excited to get into this one. So tonight's Unsolved takes us to the city of Buffalo. We're going to tell you about a woman's dying wish to find out who murdered her brother more than 40 years ago. All I know is that uh, he was afraid of somebody. At 95 years old, Jean Bacchetti is determined to uncover who broke into her brother's home and killed him back in 1980. It just bothers me so that maybe I could have saved his life. More than 40 years ago, Jean's brother, Robert Bauer, who was 53, disabled, retired from his job at the U.S. Post Office, and a father of three, was stabbed to death in his apartment on Bernard Street. We're talking about a cold case in the city of Buffalo from 1980. Um, talk to me about what you know about the case of Robert Bauer. Police were called to the scene when the body uh, was discovered by a former uh, wife of the decedent. Uh, the police were notified and immediately a homicide investigation was undertaken. How was he killed and what kind of, what details do you know about his death? The, what the detectives uncovered that night at the scene is that he had been stabbed multiple times. Uh, while he was still inside of his kitchen. Um, there wasn't, it didn't appear to be a sign of a forced entry to the house, and that's really what the detectives had to work on at the time. Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Rinaldo said he was stabbed multiple times in the abdomen, neck, face, and head. The original investigating detectives from Buffalo Police surmised that he was murdered during a robbery in his home. But as Rinaldo mentioned, there was no sign of forced entry. This led officers to believe that Bauer may have known his attacker. The number of wounds that he uh, unfortunately suffered would definitely tend to lead towards either an acquaintance or some type of um, situation where there might have been an argument that ensued, ensued prior or something of that nature. Ronaldo dug up these old crime scene photos from the cold case unit to share with me. This one shows footprints in the doorway of Bauer's home. It looks cluttered. But Ronaldo said most items were intact. And back then, they didn't have the DNA evidence, which made solving crimes rather difficult. And when you ask Jean about the night Bauer was killed, she'll tell you she still carries guilt. And what I feel horrible about right now is my husband and I were in that neighborhood, and I was going to step in and see how he was doing. And I thought, oh no, I'm tired, I'll go home. But that was the night that he was murdered. And uh, to this day, I, I just, it just bothers me so that maybe I could have saved his life. For Jean, it would mean everything to get justice after all this time. With this Unsolved, I'm Leanne Stock. Okay. Leanne, you got to tell us more about this new podcast. Yes, there's, if you want to know more about these stories that we're sharing on air, we've created a new podcast. It's called Unsolved. True Crime in Western New York. It's available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and it's going to feature the cases that we're showing on air and some new ones as well, so it's a lot of exciting content coming. Yeah, we know you've been working on it for a while with our producer, Amanda Berg, so we're looking forward to it. Thanks. Thank you very much, Leanne. Appreciate it. Well, Western New York.